This is another use of the stick, and it's probably one of the most important uses. Is you can set your endpoints of your elevators. You can watch how they track together. You have two servos. This is a really extremely slow, but you'll see how the, the servos track independently, just a little bit independently of each other, and you'll find a servo that goes weak or bad quicker with the sticks than you will feeling it with the flying. Now a down elevator, you'll see it doesn't really track all that well. That one is lagging all the way to the end and winds up being low. The one that tracks slowest never really comes to the same throw. So now you can go in on your endpoint setting and adjust that endpoint to where they both are exactly the same. The number one uh, thing that you can feel if you have a spin that wants to drop the same wing every time and you can't you can't fly around it and you can't figure out why nine times out of ten your stabilizer is warped it's misaligned or your throws on your elevators are not perfectly the same you get that throw the same and all of a sudden now you have a tip both tips of the airplane will drop nose first with the tips level this is the the number one problem with spin entry is stabilizer. Stabilizer and elevator throw. You get those perfectly set and the air, all of a sudden the airplane will pull up nose high, drop nose low with the wings level and you initiate which direction you want to turn the spin. So now we're going to make some adjustments and uh, and try to get these all to match and line up the same.